Hello, basketball fans. Great matchup for you tonight between the Wright State Raiders and the Cleveland State Vikings. Number 35 is the star whose team hopes he can take them to victory tonight. He's the type of player that uses his head as much as his skills on both ends of the floor. He's a smart defender and a crafty offensive scorer. He knows how to create points for himself. The Vikings will definitely try and capitalize on his capabilities tonight, Dick. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. The Vikings could be in for a tough one tonight, Dick. What do they have to do if they want to have a chance to win tonight? Well, partner, here's what I see as the key to the game. First of all, the point guard has to be the coach on the floor, making sure his team executes on every possession. Second, make good decisions offensively and reduce those turnovers. And finally, get out on those shooters. Challenge every shot. Well, partner, I say let's get to the action on the court, and we'll see how this one plays out. Goes up for two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. Trying to feed inside. That one's blocked from behind. Great rotation by the D. I love it. Trying to go inside. Strips the ball. Gave it up. Number five takes the feed. For two, perfectly executed. Stay with him defensively, and he's going to pick up the foul. Oh, what a terrific job. Exploded in the basket. Poor job defensively letting him get the ball that deep. They've left him completely alone. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I tell you what, he's trying to deny the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. He goes to the line for the first time. He got it. Second one is no good. Aggressively grabs the ball. As soon as you get that defensive rebound, you should be looking to push the ball. Number 40. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's one you take for the team, Brad. Number 44 going to the line for the first time tonight. He hits it. Moving it around the perimeter. Now they work it around the perimeter. Number 32 with the ball. Reverses the ball after having a guy in the post. A high screen. Get it to the inside. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up. You get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. For the bucket. Can't get the shot to drop. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And he made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect for saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. The ball goes out of bounds. Oh, and look at the crowd and look at the reaction. I did the home fans are going crazy. There's jubilation. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Tries for two. Can't get the shot to go. That's good. Hit the replay button on that one. Number 45 gets the ball. Goes up for two. I tell you, what a nice turnaround jump shot. Soft, he's velvet, fading away, passing the block. Working it around the perimeter. For two, 
and off the mark. On the outside, those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing, that big guy down inside though is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Got a Bubble. nice screen. Double team now, bad angle. He shoots from right of the circle. the steal the pressure got to the ball handler awesome ball pressure it was too much for him and he lost possession for the bucket great play to take that to the basket here's a double team kicks it out Good job defensively. They just won't give many openings. Pressure in the basketball. Cleveland State are showing signs of a good run here, Dick. They look like they're putting it together for a moment. Hey, let's see how long they can keep it up. He does the sweet fake shot. Nice fake. Tries for two. Doesn't go. Well, thank you for joining us tonight with Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews. I'm Brad Nessler. I'll tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Launches away. He makes the shot. And Dick, this is just playing good defense. Really does a great job with his footwork, beating him to the spot. They still don't score. Showing great patience as he waits for the reset of the offense. Controlling the ball. Sets the screen for his teammate. This guy's not looking for anybody else out there. You're right, Brad. He's got a little too much to prove right now. Good job defensively. They're working around the arc. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle. A poor job defensively. No help. I mean, that is post play at its best. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player is going to be an exceptional passer. Oh, he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, it's a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Dribble gives it up with tons of room. Perfectly executed. That's a seven zip run. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really good. A great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. He's just not giving the effort on defense. He's not putting up a good fight at all. Keeps the dribble as they set it up again. Up and inside. Number 23 is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, whether you win or lose, you should be afraid to show your emotions. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Trying to feed the low block. A lot of good things happen when you bring the ball down to the inside. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. In and out. Dick, when I see those types of things, I just get chills. Hey, this place is remarkable. The noise is deafening. Goes up for two. Can't get the shot to go. Keeps the dribble as they regroup. 
The fake. Gave it up. Number 32 takes the pass. Hmm, that's not a good shot given his abilities. That shot was definitely ill-advised. Number 21 gets the pass. He's going to muscle it on the inside. What an explosive move to the goal. No wasted time. He had his mind made up. He was attacking the basket. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Guys, he seemed very focused from the beginning. His game face was on, and he understands it's his time to perform. Let's send it back over to you. First free throws count. Let's go back on our campus as BMOC. Big man on campus, baby. Down in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. On the outside. Working it around the perimeter. Steal, go up the other way, get a layup. For the bucket, doesn't go. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of the post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Tries for two. Up, easy one. Open for the shot. Shoots it. Way off target. That's one of the best parts of college basketball, the student section. They're fired up and they're ready to try to help their team. You can't forget about them. Ooh, look at the shot block. They got some contact. Nice hops. Patience by the dribbler being shown as the offense is reset. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Time to pick up the defense here now. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Stolen away. Fronts him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect, so they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. Right State are doing a nice job of pulling a solid run together here. Hey, they're really starting to click on offense. There they come with a double team to stop it. Puts up the shot. Off the rim and no good. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Way off target. Look at that spacing. He's got an open look for the shot. From the top of the key. Off the rim and no good. He buries it. For two. They still don't score. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Now he 
faces up on the low block. I think it's great when you got a post player that can face up on a defensive player and attack the basket. Nick, that's what I call giving him the business. He's definitely giving him the business. I can do without that taunting, though. For that reason, right there, that's why I love college basketball. They just have to focus, Brad. That's most important, mental toughness. He puts up the tray. He hits it. That's seven on answer. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> Low block. Number five makes a great move to draw the foul. Dick, we all know how important it is to get to the free throw line. Well, there's no doubt about it. I think it's such an unbelievable plus. It means you're playing aggressive basketball, you're playing attacking basketball, and you're creating all kinds of foul problems for the opponent. Misses the free one. He pulls it down. On the dribble, gives it up. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you gotta have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. He shoots from the top of the key. Wow, used the screen perfectly, but the shot didn't go. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. They're working around the perimeter. Picked off. That spin move's not going to work against a defense uh, like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Great anticipation. He blocks the shot. Nothing going to come easy tonight, baby. They are really playing for keeps. Overplays on the pass, and he didn't get the steal. Oh, he's humiliating. Poor job defensively. Takes the pass in the paint. He has the presence of mind to set the screen in time to get off the nice inside bucket. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. I post screen, going to use it. Gave it up. Dickey's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. Hey, Brad, a stop here will definitely raise the decimal level. Want to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He's going nowhere. Ball going stolen. Nowhere. It's going the other way. That's where it's going. Turnover City, baby. Got to eliminate those turnovers. Cleveland State is showing a bit of a run here. Things are going their way right now. And a momentary look from three-point land. Great defensive play. Anticipating well. When you're an anticipator, you got a chance to do well. A lot of guys, they're reactors. If you're a reactor, you're one step behind the action. Got to take some pride on the defensive end. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. The student body appears to be pumped up and they are ready to explode. They're rocking right now. My goodness. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. 
Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with a play. What a terrific play to stop that spin move. Number 32 comes up with it. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented up there. Yeah, that helps. He missed on the steal. That's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'm telling you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He tries a jump hook. Can't get the shot to go. The frustration right there. On the dribble, gives it up. From the baseline, way off target. Kicks off the lazy pass. The student body looks to be full with rage and willing to cheer on the old home team. They want to win just as bad as anyone else in the building. Moving it around the perimeter. On the outside. Nice high post screen. Off the rim and no good. Goes up for two. And in and out. A little bit of a collision there, but no foul call there. I did a good call by the official. Not blowing a whistle. I think it's an excellent call. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play in front, which means you got to get help side. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two, you can't go those kind of stretches against the layup's good, and one, Dick. Hey, that's good concentration, taking the ball hard to the hoop, knowing that someone's going to have to. Number 35 steps to the line for the first time. Hits that one. Jumped in front to take it away. Shot clock is dead. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. Entry pass in the paint. He takes it away. There's that pressure on that basketball. Working it around the perimeter for three. If they can get off some good shots and easy buckets, they might turn around this awful stretch of shooting for them, Brad. Easier said than done, though, right now, Dick. At the half, the Vikings lead by 14. This ride's been interesting, Richard. What's your highlight of the half? Watch some of the great inside work in the first half, Brad. The trick is whether or not they can keep going inside like that in the second half. Well, partner, let's get back to the game and see how this one plays out. 
Cleveland State really showed no signs of rust with their shooting in the first half, Nick. They certainly did, and their offensive execution was near perfection. Keeping it up will be the key. Second half, Dick, our focus player update, and what's he got to focus on, or what do his teammates have to focus on? I think his teammates got to set him up somehow. They got to run some sets to get him free for some good shots. They work it around the perimeter. He strokes it. How many bricks have we seen? Will somebody make a jump shot, please? Takes away the pass. They're off into transition. For the bucket, perfectly executed. Watch your head, young fella. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. He pulls the trigger. He kept his dribble and ran the defender right off the screen for a beautiful jump shot, Brad. Gave it up. And he'll kick it back outside. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important to 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Good fake. Up it inside. Up it inside. Number 21 is called for the foul. Second personal foul. You start comparing these backcourts, Dick. What are your impressions so far? You know, well, for me, Brad, good guard play will take you a long way. If you think about teams in the past, they all have good guards who can apply good ball pressure, attack off the dribble, and distribute the ball. I can't emphasize enough how important backcourt play is. Take a look right here. Nobody steps into the driving lane. He allows him to get the crease, the lane, the angle. They work the perimeter. Goes up for two. Perfectly executed. We're going to move it around the perimeter on the inside. Go to the entry pass on the post. Turnaround jumper. Wright State have put together somewhat of a run here. Maintaining it is the key, though. They've got to continue to make the hustle plays at both ends of the court. Turnaround jumper. He's taking his team out of the game plan with these shots, Dick. Yeah, and even if you were hitting them, Brad, they're still bad shots. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Working it around the perimeter. Looking for a screen on top and got it. He takes the shot off the baseline. Way off target. As you would say right here, Mr. Vitale, Flop City! I tell you one thing, <laughs> absolutely a flop. No doubt, Mr. Nestler. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Trying to draw the foul. Take a look at this! And moves not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive play. and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. Had him in the post and didn't pass it in. Reverses it. Fakes it. Tries for two. In and out. Goes up for two. Got to make that baby have that wide open angle. Have a chance to lay it on the glass for an easy deuce. Number 44 makes the shot. 
And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Done a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. This is college basketball at its best, Dick. The Rockets fans are going nuts. They're going bananas, Brad. Step out on that screener. He shoots from the top of the circle. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can we get him the ball, though? Right State. Are a nice little run at the moment, partner. Therefore, remember, solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. Steals a pass for the bucket. Look at that try. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Tries for two, perfectly executed. And he's going to pick up the foul, and oh, look at the look on his face. I'll tell you what, he's disgusted, but so is his coach. I like it when a team gets to the free throw line. It shows that they're being aggressive. The key is to get to the line early in the game and off. He misses the second shot. These kids are really struggling from the free throw line tonight. I hope they can turn it around before it costs them the game. Entry pass in the paint. There's the trap. Number 34 takes it away. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. Goes in. From the top of the circle. Man, he used that screen to perfection. He used it to get free, baby, for the good luck. Takes the shot. Way off target. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc, looking for the open jumper. He dials long distance. That's an ill-advised shot. I don't think that's the guy you want shooting from the three-point line. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. In the paint, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. And he throws it right away. Great steal. And the ball goes out of bounds. Nick, I gotta, I gotta wonder where everybody is tonight. I thought it's Ghost Town. It's supposed to be a big game. There's nobody here. Here's a flash from the post up high. And the ball goes out of play. And that's one too many turnovers. Yeah, those turnovers are really a nightmare, especially when they lead to layups. Moving it around the perimeter. Goes up for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Pass down the guy in the post to go the other way. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates and knows how to find the open man. From three-point range. That's definitely not the shot they were looking for, Dick. I don't think the coach wants him taking that shot. Had a momentary look from three-point land for two. Perfectly executed. On 
the dribble, gives it up. Double team now, bad angle. How do you keep the man sealed on that double team, Dick? Not like that, Brad. They really got to be active. Active hands, active feet. They're working around the perimeter. Picks off the pass. Let's watch the defense down on the low block. See, first initially he wants a three-quarter. Then he plays it where he gets good post position, so he's able to get the ball. A good rebound position, a good block out. And that's essential in the post. A lot of guys don't realize part of post play is ultimately a block out and get good rebound position. Second half update on our focus player, Dick, and you can't do it by yourself. I tell you what, doesn't he look like the 3S man? Super scintillating and sensational. And he got them both. the guy in the post and goes the other way. Works the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Tries for two. He's taken too many unnecessary shots, Dick. And he's costing his team their rhythm. Picks off the lazy pass. Puts it up looking for contact. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Strips the ball. On the outside. Picked out of the air. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Picked out of the air. On the dribble, gives it up. Looking for the foul. He puts it in with contact and all. Goes up for two, and in and out. On the outside, for two, and he scores despite the hat. That's eight on answer. Dickey's going to kick it back out there from down on the low block. I tell you, a post player has to be able to read what the defense gives you. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Ball was knocked loose, but the offense got it back. Basket falls despite the contact. Let's go courtside. What do you got for us, Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, I don't know if you can hear it, but I can hear it clearly down here. The coach is stressing, go inside, go inside. They've been affected all night long that way. What an asset to have, guys. Thanks, Aaron. Oh, I don't think there's any doubt about it, Brad. We've said so many times, you have a great post play. you got a chance really to win. Ball comes back out from the post. I tell you, Brad, you got to have a post player that anticipates. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. With a block. And he'll kick it back outside. He attempts the three. No. The student body has got it going on. They look to be filled with rage and eager for a win. Isn't it great, Brad? He's not getting himself in position for the good shot. Yeah, it's a little bit too much. One-on-one. -on -one. 
with the fake. He tries a jump hook. Doesn't go. They'll work it around the arc. Goes up for two. They still don't score. Up and inside. Fake. Number 35 with the foul. That one puts the personal in personal. Picks up the foul. I tell you, poor play defensively. Look at the facial expression. For two. Great play to take that to the basket. Had an open guy in the post and went the other way. Here's a spin down to the low block. I think he's got a variety of moves. Use the sky hook, the jump hook, and now the spin move to the goal. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. If you get the steal, you're a hero. But you always run the risk of committing a foul when you go for that steal. it around the perimeter he shoots from downtown the partner of this one could go right down to the wire well, offensively this is when it's extremely important to have the right people shooting the basketball at the right times goes up for two pulls down the board they need to get out and run their lanes now now they work it around the perimeter way out on top controlling the ball jumped in front to take it away Gave it up. The power forward handles the pass. In and out. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. The center handles the feed. For two. Can't get the shot to go. Look at that spacing. He goes for three. He nails the bucket. out of play. Oh, that's going to be a costly turnover, Dan. I'll tell you, turnovers can absolutely destroy a team. High post screen. So effective, that screen. Wright State are on a nice little run at the moment. Hey, they have to keep pushing and seeing if they can't force a timeout. The shooting guard receives the ball. Swatted from behind. Never saw him coming, Brad. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. For the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. be a change in the game plan right now, Dick. Could be. Got to be ready for anything if you're the opposition. Entry pass in the paint. He tries a jump hook. No luck finding the basket the last few trips down court, Dick. What they need are some easy layups or a couple of nice putbacks. 
Looking for a good shot. Wow, look at him rotate over. Looking for a good shot. Takes the pass in the paint. Goes up for two. And off the mark. Top of the circle. And the bricks just keep on coming, baby. I have to start looking for some easier baskets here, Dick. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Tries to turn, and the defense comes up with it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that blocked shot. Had him in the paint, but went elsewhere. For two, the land. from left of the circle. Rims out. The crowd loves this young man. He means so much to the program. He's a consistent performer and always competes at a high level. Drains it. Roll that replay ready, boys. On the dribble, gives it up. On the outside, picked off. For the bucket. Great play to take that to the basket. Replay of the night, baby. Excellent spacing, that's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented blocks like they have. Yeah, that helps. Tries for two. Gotta get a TR, baby. Can we expect a little change in direction here, Dick? I wouldn't be surprised if the schemes change somewhat. Dick, what do you do with a seven-point lead? Hey, they keep playing and continue to do what's gotten them this far, Brad. Can't change now. Gave it up. Dump it inside. The small forward receives the pass. Well, now it's just a matter, Dick. Isn't it a clock management here? It looks like they're going to slow the game down by fouling, Brad. Continue to foul to stop the clock. As we see the game situation here. Hey, Brad, these are elements of the game which coaches are really responsible for. Calling timeouts at the right time, knowing which way the possession arrow is pointing. All factors that are important in post games. And yet another foul. Number 34 goes to the line for the first time. It's good. Misses the second shot. They're not getting it done from the free throw line tonight, Dick. It always seems like these close games, Brad, come down to free throw shooting. Let's see how this poor display affects them. He shoots from long range. They need the foul here. Foul, and that stops the clock again. Nobody likes this part of the game when the losing team is fouling in order to stop the clock. I think it's important to get to the free throw line, Brad. It demonstrates that you're playing aggressively and that you're not settling for the jumper.
second one is no good. And that free throw line has really not been friendly for them tonight, Dick. Yeah, they just haven't looked comfortable from there. We get ready to bounce back into action here. It's a nine-point lead. Well, nine points still keeps you in the game, though, Brad. They can't have a breakdown here, though. He intercepts it. There's a steal. They work it around the perimeter. In the paint for the deuce. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. Pushes it up. Number 45 is looking for some encouragement from the field. I think he feels the importance of this offensive possession. Cleveland State couldn't get enough going before the final buzzer. It's tough to lose such a close game, but these kids can hold their heads up high with the effort they put forth. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nessler. Good night, everybody.